Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Many long-term Alberta teachers, including some of my constituents, risk losing tens of thousands of dollars in earned pensions due to poor coordination between the Income Tax Act, the Teacher Pension Plan Act, and regulations. For years, governments have informally promised revised regulations that would remove uncertainty about when or if they should retire, but none have been delivered. When will the Minister of Finance fulfill the commitment to teachers so they can make retirement choices with certainty that their earned pensions will be protected? The Honourable Minister of Finance. And uh, thank of the you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, of course, all hardworking Albertans, including teachers, deserve to retire in dignity. Uh, the previous government shirked the responsibility on this file, Mr. Speaker. They did not move forward on this file, and it is still with us today. I'm in discussions with the uh, Minister of Education, and we are working on this, Mr. Speaker. First supplemental. The Alberta Teachers Association claims that regulations to change the Income Tax Act caps would have impacts very small in relation to the value of the plan and would not result in increased liability for the two plan sponsors, the government and the ATA. The ATA also says that contributions from plan members would not need to increase if the regulation were to be fixed to resolve the ambiguity for over 600 teachers. When will the minister commit to making life better for these 600 long-serving public servants? The Honourable Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member has her facts correct in terms of the implications on the Income Tax Act and the benefit it will have for uh, those numbers of retired teachers. Uh, we are, as I said, uh, working on this and we'll have something hopefully very shortly to ret uh, return and talk to this House about uh, and obviously those people who will benefit. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Finance Minister is legislated as the sole trustee of the Local Authorities Pension Plan and the Public Service Services Pension Plan, even though all other provinces use a joint worker-employer governance model. More than 300,000 Albertans in LAPP and PSPP deserve to decide how their pensions are run, with changes negotiated and agreed to by both sides. When will Alberta's public sector workers and employers be in control of their own public pensions through joint governance? The Honourable Minister. Well, let me set some context, Mr. Speaker. Of course, our pensions are doing well in this province, uh, to the point where the employer contributions were reduced, saving our government money. We're committed to looking at this issue of joint governance, Mr. Speaker. We're going to continue to work with our partners uh, to ensure that their, our pension, their pension plans are well governed, and we'll have more to say on this in the near future.